Kantara is a blockbuster. There's no doubt about it. But uh, there's also a lot of criticism that the movie has faced, mm-hmm. especially mm-hmm. between uh, the love track between you and Rishabh, uh, the character mm-hmm. where you're an educated girl in, in, in the film, whereas you know he you know, uh, raises buffaloes and your mm-hmm. love track. I mean, I understand the love track. It can happen between any people. But then uh, mm-hmm. do you see it as regressive or something that could uh, instigate others to you know, into Eve teasing and things of that, that sort. The character was written that way. Uh, a lot of people thought, how can somebody fall in love with somebody so easily? You know, just because it's not very easily. They've, uh, for 25 years, they've been together. They've seen each other in the village. It's a very small village. So they've constantly, you know, everything happens around the village and everybody knows. So even this love story is not a very hidden love story. Everybody knows because it's a small village, right? So they come together on the bike in the village. It's not anywhere. It's not, it's happening somewhere slightly or it's not like that. It's a very open love story. Everybody knows it. The father knows it. The mother knows it. Everybody, the entire village knows it. So there's nothing that can be hidden from the villagers. It's a small community. So uh, it's not that it's going to instigate um, Eve teasing. It's just how the character is written. And uh, as I said, he behaves the way he does only with Leela, nobody else. He has immense respect for the other woman. He treats, he talks to them also that way during the entire movie process. For example, Amaka is uh, Dani's wife character. He talks, he, he talks to her with a lot of respect and uh, Whatever Dani says, he he still looks at Amaka with a lot of respect. He asks Amaka. So he doesn't look at anybody else uh, the way he does, only because he, that's the way he knows how to show love to her. That's it. Saptami, so uh, folk art is part of traditional communities and Kantara shows that quite powerfully. But do you also think uh, the film has or encourages uh, superstition? No, uh, there's no superstition as such. Because, for example, whatever we've shown, the culture and everything, I've seen it personally and I've seen it with my own eyes happen in front of me. So for uh, somebody else who's uh, not very aware of the culture or aware of the tradition, it may seem suddenly there's this man who gets these supernatural powers and, you know, it's, it's, it's something that you see in the Marvels and everything. It may seem like that. And there were a lot of people on the set who did not have any belief regarding this but we saw like uh, you know we saw this supernatural power we saw the uh, the strength of the culture and whatever happens with our own eyes and there was there, when something happens in front of you there's you can't look away from it and say this is not what it is you you have to believe your system believes it your body your soul tends to believe it so only when you watch it happen in front of your eyes can that's why we never uh, have spoken about it very openly as a team we've never uh, spoken about uh, these uh, you know about uh, uh, the soul experiences that we have personally had because it's that uh, then suddenly it becomes a marketing material and a promotional material when you uh, talk about it only uh, that's why we've always uh, told people only when you experience it and i think that's the reason why people um, in you know the uh, kudla region the karavali region why they are so proud of it today and why they uh, you know connect with it uh, so much today is the reason that they have seen it happen and we've shown it in a movie in a very realistic way there's nothing, you know, supernatural about it. I've seen it happen in front of my own eyes and it not uh, the shooting process apart from it. And uh, we've experienced it, uh, you know, personally. And that's, that's why today I've become such a firm believer uh, of that tradition of the Daiva of uh, Panjurli Daiva or Guliga or Kurgajja. I've had personal experiences myself and uh, I think uh, uh, without the blessings of this, it could not have been possible for us to reach uh, such a, you know, a massive world level. Today, people in Japan, people in Korea, Vietnam are talking about it. And it's not easy for a movie to have this kind of an impact on people otherwise. Um, and we've uh, we've seen Rishabh sir, we've seen Rishabh sir and his family and the team and everybody follow strict regimes. 
during the uh, shooting of this you know he never uh, gave out uh, any command or statement to the artist saying you cannot eat non veg the only uh, the only re- rule or regulation that rishabh sir had was we've done uh, there's this place where we sh- uh, where we've shot cola or everything right so daivasthana we call it daivasthana and so rishabh sir had one uh, rule he said that place has to be kept very pure has to be kept clean and nobody can wear slippers should wear slippers inside this so that's the rule he had but everybody uh, willingly you know uh, they themselves whenever the this uh, shooting was happening they stopped eating non vegetarian but on the set not just during the cola but on the set non veg was never allowed it was only when we went outside that uh, the production cooked non veg but inside the set whenever we shot inside the set non veg was never uh, allowed and we never cooked non veg during that so i think uh, somebody believing something so firmly i when it's just that you believe something very firmly very strongly and uh, the belief uh, comes uh, you know and gives you that power yes subscribe to the federal's youtube page for more interesting updates